What are you thinking about that, girls? There you go. Come and get them. So we are headed into town. I'm gonna to drop my wife off for a few weeks. Yes, um, a couple months ago, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. So she is uh, headed off to Seattle and she will be there for a couple weeks to have surgery and deal with the uh, radiation after. So if anybody wants to add some extra... prayers for her mom and to yeah. have a successful surgery and everything, yeah. we would appreciate it. Who would? Uh, right now it's flat calm, but the forecast calls for 20 knots and four foot seas. And it updated, but last night it said it was going to have 35 five not gusts so uh we'll see how how well the weather is when i come back over here there's a new full-time couple that live here brad and victoria they actually have been subscribers to the channel for a while and just by chance they bought a cabin on the same island we live on so they did. uh we are taking them to town so they can get some more food and stuff and uh ho hopefully you guys can meet them and uh, they'll introduce themselves to you guys. So. Sounds good. <laughs> Let's finish getting ready. I'll see y'all in a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We're packing light today because we really, uh, I just came back from town just a few days ago. So basically we're just bringing some trash in and, and her stuff. So not a big load today, which is good. I'll be bringing some fuel and some water back out with me. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. I had like omelets and eggs for breakfast. That's good. Everything, everything. Listen, these things that go up to your chest are the 
the best thing. Yeah, the best thing in the world. I do, but well, you, you get holes in the little neoprene socks. I haven't yet. I haven't I do. But we got Brad and Victoria here. Their new residents on the island. Brad was born here and then left in like... Uh, 1990. 1990. 1990. So when he was still in, not middle school yet? I was just going from middle school to high school. Oh, okay. Transition. And he had the call to come home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going through an ordeal right now. You want to talk about that? Talk about your ordeal. Uh, we lost our mooring buoy over there. It disappeared, so we have nowhere to park our boat. So, so we're relying on these wonderful neighbors <laughs> to go get us food. <laughs> so they're going to get an, an eco block and uh, rig up a new mooring buoy. So it ain't going to go nowhere, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, uh, if time permits maybe we can come film the process yeah. so that'd be cool yeah you know we've never dealt with mooring buoys so this is all totally new for us that's well, new for us too yeah, yeah. <laughs> well with the with the four thousand pound boat we got to get something hefty is what yeah. we were told we're yeah. learning we're, we're learning we're going off of experienced people in the area which is amazing to have so many people that are so helpful in the area it yeah. really is it is awesome yeah. it really is and you just got your wood stove in yep. last week yep and it's keeping us warm. It's cooking us out. It's cooking us we just out. gotta keep on chopping little bits of wood. <laughs> Those are little tiny stubby 10 inch pieces of yeah. wood. How, how, how big is that what it takes? 10 inches? Yeah. 10 inches max. It's, it's a tiny. little it's a little stove, but it's cute. I thought we had a little stove. <laughs> <laughs> and then you saw theirs. <laughs> tiny. That's cute. But their place is a little smaller than ours. Yeah, so. ours is tiny. Well, that's good. It keeps you warm now. Yeah. That's, that's what yeah. counts. Yeah. It's cheaper than propane, and propane is humid. Yeah. They claim that that stove will do a thousand square feet, but I don't know. <laughs> well, it's for an insulated house. Right. We have an open have cabin. have to roar in all the time. Go through a lot of wood. Yeah. yeah. Super calm today. It's so nice. But that's one thing we could hit on. So if you're planning on moving out here, just know that's why we bought the Toyo stove instead of a, because the, the, the people that we get our propane from was like, yeah, get a propane stove, but propane actually adds moisture t into your cabin, mm -hmm. and oil stoves take, oil and wood stoves take moisture out of your cabin. Well, we don't need any more wetness, that's for sure. No, no we don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> But I'm trying for two grand. Uh, Les Schwab will give you some studded tires. Costco doesn't sell studded tires. So never in my life chained up. These ramps are too slick. You think to back down? Oh yeah. Okay. In the winter, and when it's icy, yeah, they're okay. just they'll sand them, but still, when, within an hour, if you if you're out right there when it all is going down, yeah, it'll just ice back up. Okay. Yeah, we pulled up one time in a boat, and and a car was in the water. Oh, yeah. Like, hmm, that's about <laughs> <laughs> Is it gonna a nice turn? Can we come out now? Yeah. Come on, buddy. I bet. Is there more stuff to bring? No, he's got the rest. Okay. I brought you a present. I get a present? It's got frosting on top. Oh, I love presents like that. Oh my Here we go. So these are here. Yes, 
found another place that doesn't always only sell stuff to uh, Brian. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> we found another place that doesn't always sell everything to Brian. <laughs> I'll just wait for you to walk ahead. There you are. This is heavy. I can't. Go ahead. Now. Oh. Ah! That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> what? The boat was shaking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got back from town. Brad and Victoria got all what they needed. Yep. I uploaded a video. And we got spare donuts. And they gave me a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Two Three. donuts. Three donuts. One of each kind. Oh, well, uh, I'm in heaven. So the forecast called for 20 knots and four foot seas, but it was 10 and flat calm. But now you can see the little, little baby white cap. So it's the wind's starting to pick up. Yeah. And Gunner rolled in something and then went for a swim. Look at you, big baby. Well, we hit high tide. Come as far as we could go. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait 30 minutes for the tide to start going back down. But we're gonna go let the chickens out, so we're gonna take a small walk and then we'll come back. By the time we get back, it should be time to go. Yeah, they said it goes out faster, right? Yeah, when it's a little high and low tide like this, yeah. it pretty yeah. much hauls booty. Because it's got six hours to go from it, today's a 19 point something and it's a negative three point something tonight, almost a negative four. So, yeah. Come on, Gunner! Well, we got Brad and Victoria back with their food and supplies and stuff, and, and I got back as well. The wind actually did pick up later that uh, afternoon, and um, I thought I was going to be able to get my boat on the trailer and pull it out. Uh, I'm going to share with you all of our um, things that we do right and I'll also share things that we do wrong and this was definitely a bad decision. Um, I was trying to do it by myself. Um, the tide was going out fast like we mentioned earlier um, and then the, the waves basically just kept beaching the boat so I had to put all my weight into it and then wait for some bigger waves to come and get underneath the boat to, uh, to prevent it from to get it unbeached and back out in the water so anyways uh, sometimes it's better just to leave your boat out in the wind I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys also also wanted to say thank you guys for uh, for the well wishes and, and prayers you'll be sending away our way and uh, for for Grandma Joe, uh, we really appreciate it. Um, we'll we'll brief you on. It's going to be a few weeks, but uh, we'll brief you on how everything went. All right, thanks for watching, guys.